Hello everyone, welcome to our Canada Travel and Immigration channel. We hope you all are doing great and staying safe. Today we will discuss across 10 out of 15 sectors. Payroll employment increased in November 2022, a good indication of a strong hiring climate and a return to pre-COVID economic output in Canada. To get all the information regarding Canada immigration, please watch this video and note down the pointers that will help you to succeed in achieving your goal. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share with relevant people. So, many people who are searching for the right information can also be benefited. Let's get started. As a result, many industries also saw a decrease in job vacancies, as employers were more effectively able to hire to fill openings in the face of looming labor shortages. Overall payroll employment increased by 7,100 jobs, as increases in the professional scientific and technical services, public administration, and finance and insurance sectors were offset by significant decreases in the retail trade space. Total job vacancies were down by 20,700 positions in November 2022, leading to a cumulative of 850,300 vacancies across Canada. This represents a decrease of 151,900 job openings since the record high of 1 million vacancies seen in May of 2022. This can be interpreted as a sign that the economic production of goods and services is continuing to recover to pre-pandemic levels. An increase in payroll employment is a good indication that companies are hiring and have the necessity for more workers. A gauge of economic growth as more people overall can contribute to the economy through increased employment. In this sense it may be pertinent for newcomers to understand which sectors are increasing payroll employment now, to recognize which kinds of businesses are experiencing surges in hiring in Canada. The sectors which recorded the biggest gains in payroll employment in November included professional scientific and technical services, public administration, finance and insurance, and construction, persistent job vacancies. Despite strong growth in payroll employment in November 2022, Canada still faced a high number of job vacancies across multiple sectors, healthcare and social assistance. A persistent problem for Canada currently is finding more healthcare workers, as the high number of vacancies indicates. Despite decreasing vacancies by 19,300 jobs, the total number of job vacancies in the space remain elevated up nearly 45% from March 2020. This need for workers in the space is further reflected in policy changes the Canadian government has undertaken, including targeting more streamlined accreditation for foreign-educated healthcare professionals and reducing immigration barriers to physicians. Construction It is interesting to note the persistent vacancies in the construction space. Despite making strong gains in payroll employment in November, job vacancies remain elevated in this sector. This may indicate both an increase in business output but also a persistent need for workers in the space. In fact, vacancies in the construction sector in November of 2021 were virtually unchanged, indicating this is another sector where Canada has a persistent need for workers, especially as the economic recovery continues. Again, policy changes like Canada's recent commitment to helping out-of-status construction workers communicate the importance of such labor to the country's economy professional, scientific, and technical services. Similar to the construction sector, the professional, the scientific and technical sector experience good gains in payroll employment, but still suffers from an increased number of job vacancies. Again, this shows both strong hiring and continued demand for workers in the space within Canada. In fact, the sector has experienced positive employment gains since October 2020. In the face of such a high number of job vacancies, this is a strong indicator of enduringly high demand for these workers within Canada. Immigration will be crucial to address these labor shortages, as Canadian demographics currently cannot support filling current job vacancies. Following the ascension of Bill C-19 in 2022, the Honorable Sean Fraser is now able to create groups in the Federal Express Entry Pool and issue invitations to apply to these individuals to more directly address Canada's economic and social needs. Professions with persistent job vacancies stand a strong chance of being targeted in these draws. That is all we have for today. We will keep you posted with the new updates. Keep following and growing. Thank you for watching.